The main problem with good quality AI image and video generators is that they are actually expensive. If you want to create high quality images or videos, you have to pay a lot. However, you can reduce your costs and even generate high quality images and videos for free. I am talking about TensorArt, the ultimate image and video generator platform. And today, I will talk about an exclusive image generation model that is only available on TensorArt. So, let's dive in. Okay, this TensorArt homepage, I will put the link on the description. If you are new to TensorArt, just head over there and create an account. Once you are logged in, you can access all the image generation models and LoRa from its vast library. I will use the illustrious XLV 1.1 model. This is the illustrious XL-V 1.1 interface. This checkpoint model can generate amazing anime images with tuned hyperparameters for stabilization. The model shows slightly better character understanding and is exclusively available only on TensorArt. Okay, let's have a look at this model. On the right is the ability to talk to the model which is kind of like a chat GPT style conversation where it produces images using this model. Let's create a child chasing a pixie through a flower field. After entering your prompt, if you click on the settings icon from here, you can choose things such as the aspect ratio, how many images you want, and upscale the image immediately after generating the image. Once everything is done, hit the send button from here and then wait some time as it will take some time to generate the video. Okay, these are the generated images. Look at the quality of the images. They are just amazing. Now, if you need any customization on the image, just ask the bot to do that. For example, I want these images in Ghibli Studio style. So, I am simply typing, generate this image in Ghibli Studio style. And here it is, the image in Ghibli style is ready. Now, in this same method, you can create images or manipulate them using the bot. Here. On the right side of the image, you can see all the technical aspects of the generated image. TensorArt actually creates a detailed prompt from your simple conversation, then adds the negative prompts. After that, the size, seed, model, steps, sampler, and other advanced settings. We can manipulate all of this on the Advanced Image Generator interface. To access the Advanced Image Generator, close the image and then click on the Run button from here. This will redirect you to the TensorArt creation interface. Now you will get some recommended words to use in your negative prompt to get the best results. So I'm going to click use recommended to use those keywords. Okay, this is the TensorArt AI generation interface. This is where all the generations are going to happen. As you can see here, we have the text to image feature, image to image feature, text to video, and image to video feature. That's why I said you can do all sorts of generations with this tool. As you can see here, the illustrious XLV 1.1 image generator model is selected. If you click this, you will be able to access all the other AI models. The options are limitless, anime style, realistic style, gaming characters, 3D, and more. After selecting the checkpoint or base model, you can add the LoRa model to enhance your style or character. After that, the control net options. Here, you can set various control net, such as pose, canny, depth, tile, and others. Next we have VAE, which means the encoder of the large model, which will affect the color performance of the image. I will set it to automatic. After that, in the settings section, you can set the aspect ratio, sampling method, sampling steps, scheduler, CFG scale, and seed option. Set all the values as per your need. Okay. Next, we have the Upscale option. This feature allows you to upscale the image after generating the base image. After that, the A-Detailer feature. It's the optimal solution for facial collapse. It also improves hand deformities to some extent. Here, you have to set the model. There are a bunch of options, such as face, hand, person, and media pipe. Just select which one you want to use. This time, I will go with face. You can enter a detailer prompt and negative prompt also with other settings. In the end, if you want to generate a transparent background image, then turn on the layer diffusion feature from here. Okay, our settings are set. Now come to the prompt box from here. Here is where you should enter the prompt of the image that you want to generate. I'm going to paste a ready prompt. Next, we have the negative prompt. As we used the recommended negative prompts, I won't make any changes. Here, you will find some other settings, like translating the prompt, 
using a random prompt and enhancing the poorly written prompt. You can even compress it into Ella. OK, now set the number of images you want to generate. And once everything is set, hit the Generate button and then wait some time. And here it is. The images are ready. And look at the quality of the image. They are quite good images. You may find some minor issues with the images. We can use the A-Detailer tool to fix the issues. To do that, select the images you want to fix. Now click on the Edit Image icon from here. You will find several tools. Just select the A-Detailer tool. Now choose the ad Adler model from here. I will select the face. Next, you can add prompts and other settings. Once done, hit the Generate button. And here it is, our image is ready. Now, look at the image quality. It's just amazing. Now, the images are more detailed, so you can fix any issues using the A-Detailer tool. You can also use this in-paint feature to customize any part of your image like this. Okay, in this method, you can create amazing anime-style images using the illustrious XLV 1.1 model. Look at this image. It looks super cool. I just added some LoRa models to create these images. You can train your own LoRa to create a precise style too. I will talk about that later. Before that, let's talk about the text-to-video generator feature of TensorArt. To generate a video, come to the text-to-video tab from here. Now, you can change the video generation model from here. I will select the WAN 2.1 model. After selecting the model, set other settings like generation mode, duration, video resolution, and seed. Once done, come to the prompt box and enter what you want to generate. After entering the prompt, hit the generate button and then wait some time. And here it is, the video clip is ready. And it generates a quite good video clip. Not only text to video, you can turn your images into video clips with the image to video generator tool. After coming to this page, click here and then upload the image you want to use. After that, set the video generation model and other settings. Now add the prompt in the prompt box and then hit the generate button. And here it is, the video clip is ready. And honestly speaking, the quality of the video is just amazing. All right, now let's talk about how we can train our own LoRa and host on TensorArt. To do that, come to the TensorArt homepage. At the top of the page, you will find some tools. We have to use this online training tool that will help us to train our LoRa model. After coming to this page, first, we have to set the model theme. I want to train an anime model. So, I am selecting anime from here. Next, set the base model from here. After that, set the repeat and epoch number. I won't make any changes here. Okay, next, these trigger words refer to the words in the prompt that you can use to activate our model. Once the settings are done, click here and then upload the reference style images. I'm going to upload these anime character reference images to this to create my own model. You can upload up to 1000 images. By uploading more images, you can make this AI model better. Now, if you click each image one by one, you will be able to see the image tags. These tags are based on the characteristics of this sample set. If you want to remove any of these tags, you can do it here. Once you set up everything, click this Start Training Now option. This process will take several minutes. It looks like the training process is done. As you can see here, we have several epochs listed. Now, you can select one or more epochs and publish them. For example, I am selecting this one. Let's publish it. All you need to do is select the Create a Project option and fill in the information. First, add a name to your project. Then, you need to select the style of art. Based on that style, you will get these tags. You can also add new tags. Now, you will come to this page again. You need to fill in some information. This is not complicated. Add some description, and you can add a version to this model. These are just basic details. After that, click this Publish button to completely publish this model we just created. Now, we can use this AI model to generate similar images. Let's click this Run button, and you will come to this page again. OK. Now to create images using our LoRa model, enter the prompt and set all other settings. Once you are done, hit the Generate button. And here it is. The images are ready. And look at the quality. It's just amazing. Now, in this method, you can create amazing images in a particular style by training a LoRa model within a few minutes. OK. So, now you can access the exclusive image generation model and train your own LoRa on TensorArt. This is not the end. 
you can generate any kind of images and videos on TensorArt. It offers you free credit daily. If you need more, you can buy a pro plan that offers more access to generate more quality results. So, don't forget to try this tool. The link will be in the description. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about TensorArt. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating.